Right. Let's set some text up here. So we're starting off with Horshika. And we're going to do part two of that rather excellent scenario by uh, Steve Van that uh, we uh, played in a previous show. Uh, hey there, Pippa. And welcome to everyone already on the channel. Castinio, Sapphire, Russell, Stab Badger, Tom. Right, so we've done all the housekeeping. Yeah, so this is part two of that immensely busy scenario. I expect my computer will melt during the play of this one. Dispatcher to BNSF 8908 IR Tower, okay to proceed east to Altoona. Let's move back so we can hear ourselves think. Uh, stay with the head end of the UP train all the way down a slope. There is an eastbound coal ahead of you. Traffic is very heavy. <laughs> Uh, good luck, have a safe trip. Okay. It's going to be difficult to keep up with the head end if my signal doesn't change. Nice, Tom. Nice. You'll probably want to crank the sound up. I expect it'll be good on this one. Let's have a quick look-see on the map. What's going on here? Oh, hello. Something's coming. Nice. Welcome, Cloud, Test J, and Hugo. Yeah, the train is still over there somewhere. Welcome, Dark. Yes, Hugo, doing part two tonight. Has to be done. Welcome Pete, welcome back. Good to have you with us. I'm just waiting for the longest freight train in the history of freight trains to go past us. No, this really is a long freight train.
Oop, sounds like some logos. Caboose. And a couple of Norfolk Southern pushes at the back. Hey there, Disma. Welcome to the channel this evening. Told me to press tab, didn't it? Hey there, HD Gaming, Woody, and well, uh, Budgie. That's better. I can I can think again now. Uh, Sapphire. So after this one, we're going to do the J94 30 wagon challenge, and then we're going to head over to Germany and do something with the ER20. Welcome there, Spikey. Sorry for the noise. Cheers, Pete. See you in a bit. Uh, no, Woody. Sadly, I haven't. Been in the cab of a couple, but I've never actually... Uh never actually driven one myself, though. No one's been crazy enough to uh, let me at the uh, controls. Just pipping over the top. It's getting heading down quite a steep hill with the looks of it. Welcome, Geeky Sam. Oh, of course, Woody. Really. <laughs> Absolutely.
just running a bit slower because the uh, previous signal indication looked to me like it was a warning. So until I see the next signal, and then I'll be uh, a bit more confident to open up a bit more. Where are we at here? There you've got the warning again, let's go. Of course we're going down the hills, so we don't really need throttle. Hey there scroll up, welcome. Of course, the good news is this bit ought to be taking us round the curve. So, while well, we have a minute, a bit more brakes, thank you. Right. This is us. The one we're supposed to be following. Oh my word, there's a lot going on. Yep, there's the curve there. Look at them up there. Need to put a lot of brakes on here. <laughs> We're going down to three percent. Wow, okay, that's steep. I should really be using dynamics rather than air brakes to come down the incline. That's, uh, that's not good form. Oh, I think the wagon has just booted me. <laughs> no. All they're doing is. Oh dear. All they're doing is wheel slipping me. Let's go back to doing it the old fashioned way. Many, many trains. Hey, welcome, Mummer of Two. Welcome back. Hope you had a nice birthday. So it's coming around that corner, and left, and then left, and then we're on the curve. Hey, welcome, Easy Mal. Welcome back. Haven't seen you for a while. Yes, Woody, this is a very busy railroad. If you haven't seen part one, well, part one is uh, is called uh, Johnstown to AR Tower. 
This is part two, AR Tower to Rose Tower. Uh, it's on Horseshoe Curve and you can download these two scenarios from Steam Workshop. And part one was played in a previous uh, show, so you can go and see that on YouTube. Good, we're still at... Uh, Hey, welcome back, Lee. Oh, I'm feeling a bit com tightly compressed here. I completely forgot about that mummer of two. Let me schedule that in for tomorrow and I will try and write a scenario for it because I haven't, I haven't really found any scenarios to run with it yet and I don't just want to do a quick drive, that seems a bit a bit cheap. So uh, leave that with me until tomorrow and I will uh, get that sorted for you. Apologies. Hey, welcome Yonix. More trains. Oh, this could be painful. No. Oh. What? I'm sure that was a red light. Convinced that was a red light. Never mind. Auto tower PNS. You'll be holding eastbound signals at slope. You'd be stuck with going heavy there. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. That seems like maybe I misread it. Let's have a look up ahead of me. What am I written myself in for here? I have no idea. More trains. Oh well, let's just um, put our heads in the sand and carry on. I think I spat it there. But if it's going to let us continue to enjoy the trains, then I'm going to enjoy the trains. Hey there, hello JJ. That does look like to me, that green light. Alright, fine.
four wheels to a stop then proceed marker which I guess is to let our extra crew off Hey there, W Long. around the curve. Hey Mama of Two, yes this scenario is very different to the original horseshoe curve scenarios. Yeah, for a start it uses quite a bit of DLC so there's lots of varied uh, stock on it. That's very strange, Dave. Not sure why I didn't do that. Hey, train conductor! Yes, Woodley, this route is based on the Horseshoe Curve route uh, in Pennsylvania. I was just thinking it'd be really nice if another train came on that third track. Four trains! Wow! <laughs> oh, nice mix of Logons so that you can see the train behind. Very good. 
That's superb. Welcome, Paul, Speak Gaming, and Dubrovka. Hey, nice one, ECML. restriction coming up. Just need to keep an eye out for the next signal this time. It's all about the trains, Mum Road 2. It's all about the trains. This feels like a living, breathing, if somewhat hyperactive railway. <laughs> or railroad, I should say. Alright, so we're going up to the uh, stop, then proceed. I'm going to bring the brakes on now because uh, we've only got uh, half a mile to stop and we're going down a 1.8% grade. Armour Branch and Hatchet Hill Quarry. Okay. Well, let's see how the timing goes. Maybe I can squeeze a quick Hatchet Hill Quarry in before, uh, before we finish tonight. I know the, uh, the German scenario is only about half an hour. Um, Mardi depends on how badly I mess it up. Okay. This one's about 70 minutes though, so it's a bit longer than I normally do. Oh dear, grunt, grunt grind, that's better. Lovely view down there between the wagons. There we go, another Boko Hall. Hey, Woody. Uh, I do a mix, to be honest. I'm doing a little bit of... Uh, Tonight we're doing two workshop scenarios, assuming I get to the third, the third German one. Um, and then the Mardi Valley one is, or Mardi Branch one, sorry, is a uh, is one of the ones that comes with that pack. I try and uh, show off some workshop scenarios as well, because uh, it's good to give everyone a little bit of a, uh, a pat on the back for their great work. Got a restricting signal, but we're actually stopping at this signal. Right, it's time to come to a stop, Mr. Train. I'm 
glad that signal isn't red anymore. Hey Ricky, no, no stream yesterday. I didn't get back from uh, my folks until uh, it was just a bit after half past nine when we walked in the door. Uh, and of course, we're getting all the kids to bed and computers set up. It's um, it wasn't practical really to uh, start a stream. I think, but the time I sat down in here, it was uh, something like half past ten. Uh, at approach to slow path for the passage of the cold train ahead of you, the approach signal will clear up. Signal maintainer is on the way. Permission granted to pass a stop signal. Tab east to slope. Follow the stack trains helpers out the tower help. Where are we going here? Okay. Hey, welcome John Ross, welcome to the channel. crossing goodness there. So we're sloppy, stopping at slope stop 2, just down the row of rails here. Hey, welcome so many. Good evening, Sneaky Star. So we're running AR Tower to Rose Tower, part two, um, by Steve Van on Workshop. Um, we ran the first part on a previous show, this is, uh, and you can find it on YouTube if you missed it. Highly recommend at least watching it, certainly downloading it and giving it a play uh, if you've got the required DLC. It's on uh, Horseshoe Curve. I think there's about seven or eight bits of DLC that you require. Cheers, Mama. I will try and get that first Great Western HST sorted for you. Thank you very much, train conductor. I'm glad you're enjoying them. <laughs> trying to find a little bit of break that will let us get down without gaining too much speed. What's that light at anyway? It's red. Yeah, that'd be bad. Uh, Dave, no, I haven't done Pete's uh, military ones. Actually, I haven't got them on my list either. That's bad form. Let me put them on the list. They're on my list, and I will get them put in probably sometime this week, actually.
Can you welcome us to the Green Chief? Right, we have stopped. Where are we going now? We're going there. Yeah, fair enough. This car move is right behind the stuck train. The helper crew you picked up today are aboard those engines. Wait till 2764 moving starts moving before proceeding east. Well, it looks to me like it has indeed started moving. Trying to find a name here. No idea where 2764 is, but I've got a green light or a red amber light, so I'm gonna go. Who is Pete? Uh, Karma No, the uh, the Obanati. This is uh, Train Simulator. Okay. More Ralph hands up on the bridge. Nice touch. Got the train stopping us from going anywhere at the moment. Sneaky, we've changed point, junction, switch, whatever. So what we're doing here. Going via, going via. Stop at Rose Stop, 1.43 miles. You love it. Lots of trains. That's what we're here for. That's why it's called Train Simulator. Track speed drops to 15 miles per hour at the next signal bridge by Alto Tower. I think there's probably a million wagons just in this area here. Uh, Jeep is or no, I am driving uh, an SD70, I think it is, if my memory serves me correctly. But I do have a bunch of SD40s behind me.
can't see what that signal is. These telegraph poles are in the way. What does the conductor think? I think the conductor's thinking red. Which means we need to put some brakes on. Oh no, that's restricting. If memory serves. Well, we're below 15 now, so we can just ease on through into Altoona. Back in the conductor's seat. Stick your head out the window and have a look at these trains. Why aren't they waving back? I do like the horn on this, I have to say. It's very controllable. I was just thinking that was an odd place to leave a caboose and then I noticed all the flat wagons. That needed a screenshot. That looks pretty awesome. There we are, coming up to Rose Tower. slowing down now. Hey Dubravka, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Another screenshot. Hey, welcome, Crazy Dino. <laughs> hey, welcome for the follow. Thanks for the follow there, Crazy Dino. Much appreciated.
I'm afraid I don't have any more news for you. I, know, I think um, Dovetail posted a uh, thing on their Facebook today about it. Uh, coming soon. Um, and I think another developer, another publisher has also released it. Much to our surprise. Well, to my surprise, I should say. Again, man. What's the deal? Stop, stop, go uh, stop. Wow, where are we going? Hey, thanks for the follow there, Mad Speak. Much appreciated. Hey Sharky Girl, yes I will be streaming tomorrow. And uh, yes, you were looking for PDL I think. That's gonna be tomorrow now anyway. Hey welcome Ray Reds. Let me know which one you want, Sneaky. Um, today's all booked up, but uh, I can certainly add future requests into the list. And I should be able to get to it sometime this week. Oh, I should have been slowing down by now. Which picture is that, though? No? Right, let's come to a stop. Might have to wait until 15.34. Oh well, I guess we're going to sit here for a bit and watch trains. Everywhere I go, there's deafening trains. Hey there, Jesse, welcome. And Gildenator. Uh, Sharky, I'm going to try and do the, the uh, PDL um, tomorrow. Another screenshot. What time do I start streaming normally? 9.30. We're pretty much on the button tonight. Alright, let me make a note of that. That would be good to have a Class 92 scenario actually. Nice, nice shell. I see where we're going. Oh, 
We're waiting for another train to get out of the way. I think my computer just might just melt down completely when we get in this yard. Let's go and have a look. That's fantastic. That's, uh, I'm looking forward to running that scenario. Thanks, um, Sneaky. Just flying down the yard. We've got uh, another three and a half minutes until the uh, description said we were likely to be given the all clear. A bit more run through freight here. I don't know if it's him that's causing the blockage. Hey there PSV Games, welcome to the channel this evening. Wow. Okay, so the reason I'm flying out of the cabin is just because it's quite loud there, considering we're not going anywhere. And there's stuff happening over here. Hey, thanks for the follow PSV Games, much appreciated. Two and a half minutes, and we can get moving. Hopefully, I'm just gonna. I think we're just gonna be depositing these uh, this train in the yard up here. Oh yes, that should be a cracking shot, he says, twice, because he forgot to take his microphone off mute. Good evening, Steve-O. Yes, uh, PSV, if you go on to um, Steam Workshop, um, you should be able to, um, if you look down the right-hand side of Steam Workshop, which you can get to via the profile screen, and in the workshop tab, um, then you can uh, it'll pop up the Steam overlay, and you'll be able to see all of the tags for the various bits of DLC. Now, if you look at the ones that you've got, so if you bought 2015, then you've got East Coast Mainline, London to Peterborough, you've got Munich to Garmisch Partenkirchen, and you've got New York to New Haven. Um, so you can look at those and you'll find that there is deal, there is extra scenarios that just use those add-ons and nothing else. There's a lot more that use other add-ons as well, but it's um, you, you'll find you have got options for extra scenarios. Yes, indeed, I am using a green screen. Um, I've got the cab of an SD80 Mac, even though I'm driving an SD70.
Hey, Petrick, welcome. Okay, so if you've got 2013 PSV, then uh, you've got London, Brighton, Munich, Augsburg, and um, German Hill. So again, the same thing applies. Uh, in fact, probably, you'll probably find there's a ton of scenarios for London, Brighton. Um, quite a few for Munich, Augsburg, actually. Is there a way to make AI locos whistle uh, whistleboards? No, I'm afraid not. I'm very sad to say. Right, you reckon 1534? So we'll wait until it actually ease 1534 in two seconds. Um, it depends how you bought um, 2013, whether you've got Isle of Wight or not. Uh, in fact, the exact pack you've got does depend on how you bought it. So if you bought 2013 in a store box, then you've got a slightly different selection. Um, what you've got is. Um, Yay, we can get our train in. Is that the one that we want? It's the one that we want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cheers, Galdonator. Yes, sorry. So if you bought the 2013 in a box in a store, then you've probably got London to Brighton, Munich, Augsburg, Great Western Main Line, London to Oxford, and Isle of Wight, I think. If you bought 2013 on Steam, then you've got Munich, Augsburg, Sherman Hill, and London to Brighton. So just check which ones you've got, and then you can uh, um, you can uh, look on uh, Workshop for new scenarios. Um, Jesse, the version of TrainSim does get automatically updated, but this, the way to think about it is that there's two parts to the game. There's the core technology, which is the game itself, um, so the thing that allows trains to, to move uh, and graphics to display, and then there's the routes and the locos. And when we, when Dovetail do the free update, the routes and the locos don't get updated, but the core technology does. So you always have the latest version of the actual game, but you don't necessarily have um, the uh, the latest content that came with the latest version of the game. Because you got that bundle, when you bought the game, you got the bundle of content that came with that particular version. Okay, so if you've got um, Great Western Mainline, then you've also got something called the classic European assets. You've possibly even got the classic American assets. So when you're looking at workshop scenarios, if they say that they need that, then you've also got that as well. No, you don't. No, it's because um, you don't verify cash to get the new content. You haven't been given the new content, basically. You've been given the update to the core technology but you haven't been given the new content. It's the core technology that's upgraded free. Okay. A little bit of a jump there. Yes, if you were basically, if you want, if you want the uh, collection of routes that comes with the latest version, then rebuying the game essentially 
gives you those as a bundle at a really really big discount to buying the three routes uh, in fact if you want two of them the third one is uh, it's less than two of them really and you get about 90 uh, pounds worth of content I think for uh, a be at 24.99 uh, and what it does is it just adds it into the game you've already got it doesn't create a second version of it or anything it just adds all the content in um, Hugo, you do get the, basically the way it all works is it's all DLC. So, if you bought 2012 in a box, um, then you would have got the Great Western Mainline, the Great Easter, um, Somerset and Dorset, things like that, which are all now DLCs available to buy. So, you've got those ones. See you shortly, Dave. Dark. It is a bit, it's a confusing upgrade process, but it's very much that I think Doctor want to make sure that everyone's got the latest version of the game, get all the latest features and not have to buy that again. Um, and that way what you're playing is still current, all the DLC is still perfectly current, it might have come with your 2012 or 2013, but it's just as current, anyone uh, today could go and buy the route that you've got, it's not an uh, old out of date route as such. PSV, you want to drive the ice train? I thought, have you got Munich Augsburg? Because I thought that came with the ice train. Or did you not get Munich Augsburg? busy yard yeah I think really most of the uh, most of the routes um, come with a uh, a new train that's a bit a bit unique Um, PSV, I would check, perhaps go into Quick Drive and have a look as well, um, because if you've got Munich Augsburg, and I think you should have the ice, I will double check that, but if you can, yeah, confirm if you've got Munich Augsburg. Welcome back, Jamie. Master Moon and Mad Cats, welcome, welcome. There's a the back of my train, it's still out here. Um, PSV, I pretty much stream, at the moment at least, I'm streaming pretty much every night, 9.30, uh, from 9.30 in the UK. Cut off your power and bring it up east receiving 24 to Rose Tower. Those engines are heading back west to home rails on a TV train shortly. Northern Southern Power and crew is waiting to take over the train and get it to Allentown Yard. Make sure to watch the switches along the way. Rose Yard Master out. Right. So, I've got a bit of a problem here. Because Rose Tower has got the back of my train on it. So if I uncouple that where it is, I'm going to have a problem. So I think I need to carry on bringing it forward 
to the front here. Let's try that. I think that's, uh, I mean, that's an excellent point, Woody. Hey there, uh, Mark. I'm just going to leave it at that. I have no idea. Mark, mate. There you go. That thing. I can read it. Um, welcome to the channel. Um, yes, that's an excellent point, Woody. I mean, it's uh, there are regular steam sales. So. Always keep an eye on Steam to see what's actually on sale. Oh good, looks like we will be able to get this train off of the uh, line so I can uh, carry on. That's really nice to hear, sneaky stuff. Appreciate that. I mean, we probably is kind of where we're coming from really because it's something that it's a sort of like the electronic version of your model railway hey cheers mark wait thank for the uh follow much appreciated thanks psv are we off the line yet nearly do I have any Royal Mail scenarios? Uh, probably using the Class 325, actually. Let me have a look at Class 325 Royal Mail scenarios. I've made a note of that on the, the big list. How are we doing for the front? Yes, this is where it should have asked me to stop, up here somewhere. So I'm going to be coming down this line to the side and I need to get back out here. So having my train hanging out the back wasn't the brightest. Absolutely you should PSP. I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of people out there that, uh, that really don't know what there is. And uh, it's really good to get more people streaming the game. We're all in. We're all in. Brakes on. And it's set to cut off the power. back up here so I'm flicking around a bit on the map because I want to just double check that all the points are set in ways that aren't going to make me call have problems Sorry for the spinning round, right, I can see, so I'm going to have to bring it all the way up here and then back round and then down here, and that ought to do it. That's the only way I'm going to get crossed over there, so let's do that. Where are we now? 
So we're just waiting for the last of these SD40s to clear the switch and then we can change and go back. that one. Now, where do we want to go? That one. So we're coming back down the side of our train. Good. The blue line's where it needs to be. We'll change that point and that point. And that will get us back to Rose Tower. myself from speeding there. What PC have I got? It's a Dell XPS 170 laptop. It's about four years old now. That's alright. He's gone. You don't need that on the channel. Specs. Uh, they're actually on the profile page, but from memory, it's a Core i7. Can't remember which one. 2720 maybe. Um, GeForce um, 555M, 16 gig of RAM, twin SSD discs. Um, I think that's basically the ones that matter. Then, um, so sneaky stuff. What about uh, what about Wednesday for that one then? No, my SSDs aren't in rate. Okay, I have made a note of that one for Wednesday. Let's get in the SD40. Drive that one. Hey Rose Cavalier, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Matt, I'm not even sure that this laptop supports RAID. I'm sure I looked into it because it was only about a few months ago now that I swapped out my old hard disks and put SSDs in. Um, so I'm sure I looked into RAIDing it and I don't think it was possible, but I don't know. I can't say that for sure. It is getting on a bit now, this laptop, but it does seem to be just about coping. Yes, 250 followers, fantastic. Over 200 followers on YouTube as well. Uh, Doug, uh, PSV, what graphics do I run the game at? Fairly high. 
Um, certainly the um, dynamic lighting is on. Um, most of the other settings are. I'm, I'm going to have to take a screenshot. I keep saying this and putting it up on the profile page um, because people ask that question quite reasonably. I made a note and I will try and do that straight after the stream tonight just so that you know. Hey Cheekad, welcome to the channel, thanks for joining. I will certainly take a look Sneaky. When did I start streaming? End of November. So I don't think we've been going two months yet. But the other thing is my laptop is obviously doing the um, the encoding for the streamer as well. Um, and being an, of a slightly older vintage, it doesn't have the uh, Intel encoding, so it's not doing it on hardware, which isn't helping. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Matt. Have fun. Right, let's come to a stop. I used to swear by Intel, sorry AMD, <laughs> um, but uh, if I think the first, no, my desktop, I had an alien on my desktop for this one, that was my first Intel in a very long time. To whoever ran this scenario, great job, hope you enjoyed it and had no problems. Well, I don't think we had any problems. What looked like it might have been a spat might have been my problem, but uh, certainly not the scenarios. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you very much, Steve. Oh, silence. My ears are ringing now. <laughs> oh dear. Right.